All right, folks, God bless you guys. Good morning. The container is finished. And um, just like the last container, um, during the production of the last container, guys, I, I don't even know how to describe how it's just odd, you know, when you're working on something and you know the Lord's giving you instructions on what to do and what to put in it. Like in my heart of hearts, I know what he told me, but in order to feel completely confident with it, you need a confirmation. So the Lord confirmed the last container in so many supernatural ways. I was just like, this is so crazy. This is so wild. So anyway, so I finished the container last night and let me tell you something as badly as I want to give you guys a video yesterday. I was so exhausted. I came inside my joints and my body hurt so badly. I took a hot bath and I lay down and I was just, I was out. And then I woke up and I was in so much pain. I couldn't go back to sleep till like two, three in the morning because my joints and I just overdid it. I literally just, it was like going to the gym for two weeks, just straight without a break. I just, I overdid it. So the container is finished last night. The message of the container is so completely clear and unbelievable. I was just like, I've shared it with, you know, a couple of my close friends. And it's all, all the walls have already been put in. They've all been installed. And there's images on four walls, on four different panels, just like the last container. The last container, the Lord absolutely confirmed that each wall that went in was confirmed. That's what I wanted you to put in. I would hear him tell me. I would do it. He would confirm it. So this container, I've been a little stressed out. Like, you know, Lord, is this, is this what you wanted? Is this right? I went down to the alley to pray this morning, the alley where I got saved. I like going down there and just praying in front of the fire escape that came down that I walked down on. And I, I like going there and just sitting there and praying because that's where I was born again. And so I heard in my spirit, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming quickly. And so I was like, oh, yay. And so I was driving home and I just want to show you guys, I, I want y'all to see this. Look, that's me this morning. And let's see, there's probably a, a timestamp on it. Yeah, it says today. Let's see. It says today, 746 AM. See that? And I'm wearing the same hat and the same shirt I have on now. The confirmation I got driving home is so crazy. It's so unbelievable. I was like, ah! So I videotaped the whole thing to share it with y'all. But here's the thing. I have to get all the lights set up and put the lights on the panel, just like the last one. And that takes in a couple hours to do the lighting. I got to tweak it. I got to, there's some glue that got overspilled when I put the panels on the wall. And I got to go get a razor scraper and get the glue off. And a couple little things I got to tweak to show you guys. This is the most exciting thing for me. I mean, I can't even explain the excitement I have. I know he's coming. And I and he already... So, we, hang on. Let me just calm down. <laughs> calm down, Johnny. Calm down. Okay. All the panels are already installed. So, you cannot fake what's on this video that I took this morning at 746. I went down to pray in the alley this morning. Hey, Lord, I, I got it done. So now I'm going to do the video today. I hope it's exactly what you wanted. And then driving home, bam, he confirmed it in a way that just blew my mind. I was like, <gasps> and so anyway, I documented it. So what I'm going to do for everybody is this. I'm going to clean up the glue that's squirting out of the, you know, one of the walls when we had to glue the, to the, to the corrugations inside the container. Some of the glue came out in between panels and I got to clean it up and, you know, just tweak it, put the lights up, get the lights on the, on the images. And, and he already explained to me what the whole thing means. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. And it's just an end time, you know, work of faith to show everybody, Hey, this is what I told my servant a long time ago. And now it's been proven, hasn't it? Hasn't it been proven? You know, this whole resist movement, what are they resisting? You know, have you noticed, what are they resisting? 
uh, yeah. Wonder why they, you know, watch this. Let me, let me show you something. Let's just do this together. I'm going to open a new window. Watch. I'll do a new window. I'll do Google Images. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll write in Trump resist. Let's see. Bumper sticker. Let's see. Yeah. Sorry. So they have all these Trump resists. There it is. Look right over here. Let me show you something. Look at this. Look at this. Resist with the T upside down. Why would you put the T upside down? See right here? That's an upside down T. Upside down T. Upside down T. Why? Remember Isaiah 29, 15, and 16. Woe unto them who go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord. Their works are in the darkness, and they say, Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. That's what the Lord God formed in Genesis 2. He formed Adam as a potter from the dust, and the word dust is clay. Not that Genesis 1 thing, let us create man in our vain show representative figure, especially an idol. There's two different things that are intermixed here. And so it's so obvious now. So why are, why are they, why, what are they resisting exactly? Do you know, does anybody know what they're resisting? Resist, resist. What, resist Trump? Resist his policies? No, they're resisting the other side. That's why they put his T upside down. Just like the guys that draw, have drawn pictures of me with a dead sheep on my face. I mean, what the hell? You go into Starbucks. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Hey. How you doing? Those that wink the eye devise perverse things, neither let them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink the eye that hate me without a cause. <clears throat> Isaiah 57, against whom do you sport yourself and stick out your tongue? Are you not the seed of falsehood, children of transgression, the adulterer, children of the adulterer and the whore? Yeah, so... It's easy to see them now because, yeah, they're in human flesh, but we can see past the flesh now. It's easy to see their outward manifestation of who and what they are, just like the clothing lines. You know, they have new clothing lines out, and I'm going to share these with you. There's one called Lurking, Lurking Class. Here, you know what? Let me just show it to you. Watch. Y'all know what Lurking means? Let, let's look up the definition of Lurking. Definition of lurk. Uh-huh, there, there it is. Uh, of a person or animal be or remain hidden so as to wait in ambush for someone or something. A ruthless killer still lurked in the darkness. Okay? So, to cover, to keep out of sight, to conceal oneself. Okay, now, see, I... All this stuff that the Lord had me expose, it's its manifesting in every form of media, every movie, all the TV shows. I mean, you know, you see the, the, all this American horror story. They put up the symbol, they, they put up the uh, sigil of Lucifer on your TV for American Horror Story. I've seen it. I, I paused it and I'm like, I photographed it. That's the sigil of Lucifer. So they got all this stuff coming over the media, the TV, the movies your clothing. Let me show you the new lurking class clothing line real quick. So let's type in new, watch this, Google Images. Lurking class. We just looked at the definition, right? Lurking class. Oops, what happened there? Lurking class. There's hidden images all over it. There you go. Lurking class, class clothing. Lurking class clothing. There you go. And so there's your 666, 666, 666 skull, you know. And I've gone through some. And there's your Vesica Pisces, all seen eye. Uh, there it is, like a skeleton death looking out from the mini blinds. You know, uh, there you go. 
That's a representation of the virgin. That's a vagina. Uh, this is death birthing out of a vagina. And look, they put a penis on this. So this is your clothing, guys. This is the new stuff. This is the cool stuff at the stores. And see, I, my son bought a skateboard from Zoomy Skate Shop, several skate skateboards. So they have my email. So I'm up to date on all the new clothing lines that the kids think are cool. Lurking class. Broken promises with a checkerboard scorpion. Why would you have a checkerboard scorpion as, you know, an image on your shirt? I'll tell you why. Because the black and white, the two different races mixed together, form the scorpions from the pit. That's why. Duh. I mean, it's like a no-brainer. And that's why when I'm in their presence, you know, I'm in the presence of this entity a lot. And they'll look at me and I know guys right now, people. Um, I don't want to mention names because, you know, I love them anyway. I know they don't know what they're doing. But they'll go, hey, Johnny. Several. They sit there and they look at me and they go, well, that's what the sheep is at the largest altar in the world. It's a damn dead sheep with its tongue sticking out the other side of the mouth. Because the lurking class inside that host body that's keeping itself concealed is looking at me like I'm going to ambush you and kill you because they hate us because we know the truth and Jesus is the truth. Look, a person or animal be or remain hidden as to wait for an ambush for someone or something. Okay, look, so here's the lurking class clothing line. Are you kidding me? I mean, really? I mean, you got to be joking me. That's, I mean, look at this. That's like the virgin. Like, you know, those who worship the virgin, just like I showed you the Catholic Church, you turn the virgin upside down. It's a dead sheep. I think, you know what? It's worth looking at one because part of this, you know, part of what I want y'all to understand is what are they resisting? What's this resist? See, it's not Trump that they're resisting. They're resisting the fact that, let me explain something to you. Satan's been like, I'm in control. I'm in control. I control all the governments. Well, do you ever think that all of a sudden he may be freaking out that he's not in control? Doesn't the Bible say the Lord deposes kings and sets them up? So if Donald Trump, sorry, if Donald Trump's in the in the White House, it's because the Lord wanted him there. Okay, and he put him there. And all of a sudden, that other race of beings is like, resist, resist, resist. Oh my God, they're taking control. They're about to lose control of what? Government. Do you all know what government means? The word government means mind control. So they're going to lose control of the government. And I'll show that to you just so you see it with your own two eyes. I'm not making this up. Everything I tell you is I, I give you the 100% truth that's been given to me. So let me just show you. We'll go to the twins folder. Okay, let's see. This thing's populating kind of oddly right now. It usually should be a little more smooth than that. Down here, Serpent Twins folder, click right here. And then we'll go back to the Sheep folder in just a second. But I want to show you because the word government, it means mind control. That's what it means. And they're losing control of the minds of the masses. And so they're freaking out because the angel of the bottomless pit is the one that's controlling them government derived from latin verb governo and governare meaning to control the latin noun mens mentis meaning the mind to control the mind okay well now let me show you the virgin and let's go back and look at the lurking class clothing why would you come out with some clothing line called lurking class i'll tell you why because it's true there's a race of beings that are lurking behind human skin, waiting to ambush the rest of us. That's what the beast being unleashed is, guys. Oh, now it all makes sense. It's not a lot of doggies and kitties gone wild. <laughs> I actually know somebody that wrote a book and put that in. I'm like, no, it's not a bunch of crazed dogs and cats. So <laughs> I was just like... And this was a college professor. I was like, great. Good job. Bunch of doggies and kitties gone wild. No. We're, the human host body is housing that 
monstrosity. So here we go. So here we go. Look at this. There's the virgin. See the virgin right there? It's upside down, but that's a sheep. There's a sheep's eye. There's its eye. There's its nostril. There's its lips. There's the red tongue sticking right out of the mouth. There's the top of the head and the ears of the sheep. See it? And the rainbow because they want our light energy. Okay, let me show you something none of y'all have probably ever seen. Uh, this is this is the actual picture. This is the actual picture of a waffle years ago that a waitress bring, brought out and gave to my daughter. And I know the waitress's name. Her name was Kay. And so here's this restaurant called Jim's. And I was sitting there with my daughter. I took a, I took a photo of, this is not the exact same Jim's, but I took a, a picture of the counter so y'all would understand. I was sitting at the counter like this with my daughter and this waitress came and flopped this waffle down for my daughter. It's got two grapes cut in half as the eyes, a banana for the nose, and look at the red tongue sticking out and the ears. It's a sheep with its tongue sticking out. I, and, and when I saw it, I looked at the waitress, Kay, and I said, hey, Kay, let me ask you a question. She's like, yeah. I said, why did you make a dead sheep on my daughter's waffle? Why did you do that? because I'm not afraid. And Kay started running. <laughs> she started running down the aisle. Da, 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 da. She like ran to the back. We were sitting like here, you know, in a different gyms, but same setup. And she started running down this aisle to get away from me. Why would she start running? Because I can see them. Those who try to hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they are doing. They turn everything upside down. Why do you think they turned Donald Trump's tea upside down? Because he's not one of them. Now, is Donald Trump saved? Well, according to what I've heard him say about never asking for forgiveness, I would have to say more than likely not. Is it possible? Something happened to Donald Trump, and he's like, oh, uh, yes. Is Donald Trump one of them, or is he just one of the sheep that's on the way to the slaughter? That would seem more viable because if they're turning Donald Trump's tea upside down, that's no different than the lurking class and what they do. And let me show you the sheep. So, so when you take an image of the virgin... And I'm going to, I'm going to, so there's a sheep that's upside down. I'm going to, I'm going to go to this other sheep folder. I'm going to come back here and show you the most interesting man in the world in just a sec. <laughs> he's not that interesting when you know what's up. He thinks he's cool, but I'll tell you what, he's just food and fuel for the fire. Sorry, this thing's populating bizarrely. I'll just find the picture real quick. There we go. This one right here. So there's that sheep with its tongue sticking out, which is all, every every one of us, every one of God's children that's being herded to the slaughter. They they that's why oh look that's why do you think Obama is winking his eye? Psalm thirty five nineteen. Uh, neither let them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. Jesus mentioned this in John 15. He said, then this coming to pass that is written in their scriptures, they hated me without cause. And he was quoting, he was referring to Psalm 35, 19. They wink the eye that hate us without cause. Look at Obama sticking out his tongue. That's the same thing as the altar of the dead sheep. Uh, Psalm, I mean, Isaiah 57, against whom do you sport yourself? That means who are you making fun of and sticking out your tongue? Are you not the seed of falsehood, children of the transgressor, uh, children of the adulterer and the whore? There you go. So that's what Obama's a children of. Why do you think Barack Obama's presidential portrait, there's a sheep with its tongue sticking out and a Tyrannosaurus Rex right there behind him? Look at that. So there's a T-Rex, which means tyrant lizard king, and uh, there's a dead sheep. I just can see it. I have a very special gift. Now, here we go. Let me show you the virgin. There you go. 
You see the virgin right there? Turn it upside down and it's a dead sheep. Eye, eye, nostril, 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 line in the lips, tongue sticking out. Okay, so now I've proven it. I mean, this is not open for conjecture by anybody. This is a spiritual gift. It's a gift from God. God gave me the gift and I give the gift to you guys. That's what I do. I'm like, here, look, here's what he showed me. So now, <laughs> yes, the time is coming, folks. All you haters and all you resistors, uh, yeah, you can resist him all the way up until the eternal fire. But he's coming, and he's coming to gather his church no matter what, and his children. Those that are ready are leaving. Those that need to be go through the great tribulation and give up their lives uh, in faith, they'll get to come home too. But all hell's about to break loose, guys. So anyway, the container's done. Yes! And I've got my confirmation. Yes! So, there we go. All right. Let me go back. Lurking class. Oh, look, the virgin. Why would you put a penis on a skeleton? Let me ask you that. Is that a penis? It is. See, because this is the system. That's their system. That is the lurking class. See, the virgin the virgin and see because a bunch of angels wanted to have penises and be able to have sex and be able to procreate and yep and oh surely you won't die liars of course so anyway this is the lurking class clothing line i've broken down many of these uh many of these shirts i have them in a folder i will give you all this folder uh again look at this down with my demons uh, the two races join together, one demon, and, you know, this represents the sheep. Count the fingers, black fingernails, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fingers, 11 chain links, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, look right here, look right here, folks. You see the lightning bolt and the upside down cross, just like the Trump sticker. Resist lurking class. See lurking class. Lightning bolt representing all uh, the you know the fire that was cast down. I beheld Satan falling as lightning from heaven, and then the upside down cross mocking us. You see, it's all manifesting right in front of us all the time now, and that's the thing. It's this is heavily manifesting in all forms of media, all forms of advertising, TV shows, movies, clothing. I mean, this stuff is pervasive. I can't go into the grocery store without just going like, ah, ah, it's everywhere because they're taking over. Do you get it? And once then, once, once the flashpoint happens, boom, the ambush, and they start hauling off all the Christians to FEMA camps. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a death party. That's what's coming. But for those of y'all that are ready, that have made yourselves ready, the bride, you're going to be leaving. You will never see the grave, I guarantee it. That's what the container is all about. You will not see the grave. We shall not all die, but we shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye. And a lot of people are like, oh, no, that's the last Trump. Well, what is the last Trump? A lot of people think, uh, you know, they've got everything figured out. If I'm the guy that the Lord used to figure out the whole system, don't you think that he's shown me what to do with the containers? I mean, don't you think that the containers are a representation of what he's trying to convey? I mean, everything about my life is symbolic of everything I did. I'm falling out of the sky. Oh, like a bunch of angels. I'm upside down. Oh, like, the, like I have fangs on while I'm falling out of the sky upside down. Who the hell has fangs on falling out of the sky upside down? I do. No, who has pictures of it? No, I do. Yeah, you know, and so the whole thing is, it's, you know, my whole life's been a representation of what I was going to do for the Lord. And now it's done. <laughs> yes. It's been an ass kicker. <laughs> I tell you what, I wouldn't trade my life for anybody in the history of the world, but I'd never want to do this again. <laughs> I was like, I don't well what I mean is uh I yeah I'm whipped. All right folks. So here we go. 
I'm going to load this video up, get excited. I'm going to tweak the container, get all the lighting. I'm going to show you the video I took today. Blow your mind. <laughs> You're going to know. You're going to go, that is so impossible. That is so crazy that he had already done the container and he went down to pray in the alley and he came driving home. What, what happened to show him you got the container right? Yes! And I'm going to go down and I'm going to videotape the, uh, the alley tonight and show you how significant the place I got saved was. Because after I got saved, I looked up and there was this giant lit up window. <laughs> this is it! Yes, it's coming. He's coming. All right, guys. Get excited, man. Here we go. All right. Take care.